Hello, namaste friends. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. We are going to be going through a yoga practice for gratitude. So just keeping it soft and breathing and moving into the body and then not focusing on any particular part of the body, but rather cultivating the sense of gratitude and connection to ourselves from within. This naturally comes from our yoga practice anyway, but we're going to be particularly feeling into that gratitude today. So yeah, maybe it's a nice practice to come back to if you are feeling a little bit down. Um, gratitude is just so powerful, you know, to remind us of how blessed we are. And also just giving thanks to our bodies and all they do for us. So often society tells us to look a certain way, to act a certain way, um, to dress a certain way like this. But regardless of any of that, our body is our temple and our home and it's so easy to take it for granted. So yeah, let's begin. We'll begin in a comfortable seated position. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight with the spine, crown of the head reaching up towards the sky, nice and grounded with the glutes there as well. Close down the eyes if you like, or just softly close them, looking down a little bit perhaps. Begin to trace the breath in and out of the body. Notice how you're feeling today. And with zero judgment, just checking in. Bring your hands to your heart center now. Take a big inhale through the nose and we'll exhale out the mouth. And we'll inhale to Om, deep belly breath. I would also like to chant a Ganesha Mantra for us to remove all obstacles from our practice and into in life. Vakratunde Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Guru Deva Savarakaya Shu Savarata Begin to rub the palms together now. Rub the palms together, create some energy, some heat. And then we're going to bring your hands over part of the body which you think needs some extra love and care today. Maybe you've got sore hips, maybe you're feeling tension in the heart space, belly, shoulders wherever you're feeling called to do that today and we're going to do that now. And really feel that energy moving into the body, healing, releasing. And then tell yourself some words of kindness now. Whatever comes to mind, thank you. Could be, I love you. Could be, you're strong, you're capable. We begin to blink open the eyes now. We'll begin to move the body a little bit and then we'll finish the practice with um, a little bit of meditation and gratitude. So let's open up the arms nice and wide. Open the heart as well, reaching Gaze looks up slightly. Again, keeping the eyes closed if you like. And then exhale, hug it in. Each palm goes to each opposite shoulder. It doesn't matter which one's on top. And give yourself a nice hug here. Inhale to open. Exhale to swap. And we're going to swap the opposite palm on top this time. And giving yourself a beautiful hug. Inhale to open, moving with the breath now. You can go as fast or as slow as you like, and as always, this can be as big or as small as you like in regards to movements. You can either really exaggerate it, rounding and arching, to see what feels good for you.
One more time on either side. And then we'll meet back at center, coming into Bhadakonasana, butterfly pose now. So you can either just go right into butterfly or you can come in with a little bit of awareness. So I like to pull out each of my calves and you can see that really creates a little bit of extra space in between the thighs and the calves there, allowing you to sit a little bit more comfortably. Maybe pull out the glutes as well. Nice straight spine, kind of the head reaching up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, we're going to begin to move the knees up and down. It doesn't really matter where your hands are. Just breathe into those hips, letting go of any resistance you're feeling there, any tightness you might be feeling. It doesn't matter if you are feeling that tightness as well. We tend to hold on to a lot of emotions in our hips. And then we're going to find some stillness now. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding forward. Allow yourself to really round the spine here. I'm going to turn to the side. Round forward and stay here for Three big, nice belly breaths, ujjayi breaths, in through the nose, out through the nose. Lengthening the crown of the head. If you like, you can come all the way down onto the forearms. If you've practiced with me before, maybe you would like to bring each hand underneath the shins and calves too, and really allow those hands to help bring you down. Inhale, rising up. Roll those shoulders away from the ears. Keep the feet where they are and then bring the right hand onto the outside of the left foot. Inhale, extend that left foot out. So lengthening it, it doesn't have to come straight. Inhale, open up the left arm backwards. If you can't quite reach that foot, just grab onto the shin or onto the thigh as well. You can also keep that heel on the mat, um, foot on the mat and open up this way. Exhale, coming back through center, left hand this time comes to the outside of the right foot. Inhale, open, whatever variation you're in. Not straining the neck, and then we'll begin to move with the breath. Inhale, opening to the left. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, opening. Exhale back through center. See if you can keep your hips in line as well. So leg is facing the front of the mat. Couple more times on either side. Back through center, rolling over now, we're going to come into tabletop. Cat cow the body, inhale opening, arching the spine, exhale pressing away from the mat, tuck the belly in. Inhale open, exhale really pressing away here. Find some natural fluid movements if you like, as if you are almost trying to touch every um, side of a barrel is a really lovely way to put it. So really moving your body in 360, every single direction.
Otherwise, let's come down into child's pose, Balasana. Bring the knees wide, coming down. Arms out in front. Forehead heading in the direction of the mat or touching. You can bring the arms behind you if, behind you if you like. You can even come onto the palms here. It's a really lovely option. Give yourself a little massage wherever you are. Begin to think of three things that you are grateful for today. Three things that actually happened today maybe that you're grateful for. Or three things that you have around you this morning or today that you are grateful for doesn't have to be big, it could be the cup of coffee you had this morning, it could be this yoga practice, it could be your able body, again something we take for granted every single day. Gratitude is a really lovely practice, it rewires our neural pathways. We often have a negative bias as humans, we hold on to the bad much more than we remember the good. And so to remember the magic around us, the seemingly mundane things that we take for granted and come back to that sense of gratitude is a really wonderful practice. Inhale, coming up. Let's come into a toe stand. I nearly said a toe stand. So... Come onto the palms, tuck those toes under, and then you can stay here on the um, knees. You can stay here with the palms down or come all the way up, balancing on the toes, on the balls of the feet, hands to heart center, namaskara mudra. Close down the eyes if you want to extra challenge today. Energetically press those knees together and then the big toes together as well. Nice soft face, doesn't matter if you're wobbling side to side. Breathe, flow like a tree does in the wind, staying grounded, but soft. Slowly. Release the arms, bring the arms wide, we're going to come all the way up, engage that core, inhale, rising up, reaching up, staying up on the tippy toes, exhale, hands to heart centre. We'll do a side body stretch here, bring that left leg behind you, inhale, open up, grabbing onto the left wrist, opening the heart here. If you like, you can rock back and forward. Exhale, coming back through center. We'll go over to the other side. Inhale, left foot behind the right this time. Inhale, reaching up, grabbing onto the right wrist. Lovely side body stretch here. Rocking side to side, maybe. Open that heart just a little bit. Yeah, exhale, release. We're going to come all the way up on an inhale with the arms. Reach up, exhale, diving forward, forward fold. From here, walk the hands all the way to the top of the mat, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose here. Exhale out the mouth. Shoulders are away from the ears, tuck the core in. Feeling how strong, how capable your body is, giving thanks for that. To be here and now in your body, in your room or the room you're in and how much of a blessing that is in itself. Breathing, living, alive, moving. 
Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, big step up in between the palms. Drop that back foot coming up into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Back foot is along the same side as the short edge of the mat. Exhale, coming straight into Warrior 2. Reach back with that back arm if you like. Hips are open facing the side of the mat. Looking over the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, bending that front foot, I'm oh, sorry. Exhale, bending that front knee a little bit more. Inhale, reverse warrior, opening up the heart, reaching up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, bring that elbow to the inside of the right um, knee. Inhale, reaching up and over. Inhale here, exhale, reverse warrior, opening up, and then exhale, hands coming all the way down to the front of the mat, stepping back into Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Pressing out of underneath the knuckles. Same again on the other side this time, inhale, left leg reaches up, three-legged dog, hips are nice and square. Exhale, big step up, in between the palms, inhale, rising up, pressing into the back edge of the right foot this time, exhale, Virabhadrasana 2, opening up the hips, inhale, extend those arms out, opening up the heart, tuck the tailbone in slightly. And bending that front knee just a little bit more. Inhale, reverse warrior, opening up. Exhale, extended side angle. Left elbow comes to the inside of the left knee. Ensure you're not pressing that knee. And then open up the heart. Arms reach up overhead. Right arm. Inhale, reverse warrior one more time. Exhale, palms all the way down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Drop both the knees down. We're going to come into a dancing camel. So knees are wide as if you're going into child's pose. And then inhale, open up, press those hips up. Big opening with the upper body here. Exhale, opposite side. Right palm comes down. Inhale, left arm reaches up and overhead. Going over to the opposite side with every breath. Moving and breathing. Again, as fast or as slow as you like. Creative expression is welcome with the arms here. One more time on either side. Closing the knees. Again, we're going to come into that toe stand. So, tucking the toes under. Staying here on the palms or fingertips, here on the knees, or inhale, lifting up the knees and balancing here. Coming into Namaskara Mudra. It might also help to look at a drishti, which is one particular point that you can gaze at to keep your focus. Nice soft face. Again, we're going to release the arms and inhale, rise all the way up, reaching up, staying on the tippy toes, reach, 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 exhale, heels down, hands to heart center. Coming into Tadasana, let's bring one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. 
Feel your heart beating. Feel the prana moving through your body, your heart more open. Maybe you can feel the sweat releasing out of the body, tension out of the body. And thank yourself for showing up here today. Often that is the hardest part, just showing up on our mats. And it is no small feat. I know I say it all the time, but it's really not. To show up for yourself and your well-being. To carve out that time and space to connect to the breath, connect to the body and connect to the divine. It is inside of you and outside of you. Slowly blinking open the eyes now. Let's come all the way down into a seat. So sitting on the glutes, bring the left foot to the inner right thigh, right leg extends out. Make sure you are nice and firmly seated with the glutes and we want to keep this grounded sense with the glutes, so no lifting up the hips. Inhale, open up the right palm so it's facing up towards the sky. Exhale, we're just going to swoop around almost as if you have a tray and you have a drink on that tray and you're trying not to spill it. Swoop that right palm around all the way to the point where it lands down just next parallel to the right leg there. That is quite a lot for you. You're welcome to keep the palm down. But we want to focus on opening the heart. And then from here, inhale, reach up and overhead with that left arm. We're trying to reach towards the toes. We don't have to touch the toes. We want to focus on extend reaching out and then opening up the heart. So notice your tendency to round forward. We want to keep that nice and open. One thing that's really lovely to do is cactus the arms here. You'll notice the heart opens a lot more. You can also bring that left hand to the um, back of the head as well. It's really nice. Staying here just for two more breaths. Inhale, rising up, drop that left hand down. Inhale, press the hips up, reaching up and over. Exhale, bringing the glutes back down. We'll go over to the other side now. So left leg extends out, right foot into the left thigh. Ensure your glutes are nice and grounded and remember to stay grounded. Inhale, left palm is up facing the sky. Exhale, like you're carrying a tray with a drink on it, swooping that hand down until it lands parallel to the left leg. Inhale, this time right arm reaches up and over. We want to grab that foot or just staying up here, reaching and opening. You can cactus the arms, bring the right arm behind the head. Wherever you are, staying here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, rising up. Right palm this time comes down. Inhale, press those hips up. Left arm reaches up and overhead. Exhale, back through center. Coming back to where we started now, in a comfortable seat. Just get comfortable. We'll stay here for about five minutes or so. So you can have palms facing up if you would like to be more connected to your surroundings, feeling that energy radiate into the body. Or you can be more connected to yourself internally with your palms facing down, connected to the body.
Feel yourself relaxing into this moment of present awareness as you inhale and exhale here and now. And so here from the space of stillness and presence, begin to feel into something in this moment that you are grateful for. And then try to really feel it in your body and in your senses, anything that you are grateful for. It could be very big, it could be life itself, your family, or it could be small too. The coffee or tea you had this morning, the sunshine. And here in this moment, I would like you to repeat three times, thank you for this thing. It can be silent or out loud. Thank you for Thank you for, thank you for. And after you have repeated it three times, feel this thought in the mind. And then allow this thought of gratitude to drop down into your body. Imagine it's trickling down from the mind down into the body and instead of thinking thank you for allow the body to feel it to feel a sense of thanks a sense of gratitude down into the body so maybe you imagine that your body is breathing in gratitude and out pure love as you inhale and exhale now allow it to be felt in your heart as you breathe in gratitude and out love. Feel it move from the head and the heart. Now moving down to the belly. As you breathe in gratitude and out love. Then slowly moving all the way down to the feet, down to the fingertips. Breathing in thanks and gratitude to all parts of the body. Feeling it in your whole body as you breathe in gratitude and out pure love. Imagine that each cell in your body is receiving this gratitude, this love. Now in this moment, notice the body. Notice where you're feeling any sensations or any aliveness. And bring a hand to the part of the body where you can really feel an aliveness. It might be in your belly, in the heart, the crown of the head. It could be the hands. And notice how it feels. Embrace this aliveness, this love, this life. And perhaps smiling here. Acknowledging the difference between just thinking gratitude and really feeling and integrating it into your body, into your entire being in such a more subtle yet profound way. Take one more big inhale here and another long exhale out the mouth. Thank you for showing up today. I hope you enjoyed this meditation. I do encourage you to when practicing gratitude, take some moments to really feel it. Move it through the mind and into your body. You can do this by perhaps taking three breaths every time you're having a moment of gratitude and giving thanks. Take time 
to feel it, move it and integrate it into the body. The power of feeling. Lots of love. Namaste.